Hi, this is Laurie Sherrod, and I'm going to quickly run through what we covered in yesterday's health science class about uploading PowerPoints to your Google site. First of all, I'm going to do one little step we did not do, that we didn't mention. Um, I've got my PowerPoint up, and I'm going to click on any one picture in my PowerPoint, and I'm going to select Format and Compress Pictures. I'm going to tell it to make it email size. I'm going to unclick this picture only. So it'll go to all pictures and say OK. Now I'm going to save this PowerPoint. I'm going to save it directly on my desktop. It's called Box Cloud Storage. OK, I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to log into my g.clumson.edu account. Here we are. And I'm going to click on Drive. Now the first thing we did in class yesterday was we created a folder. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name it Health Science. Okay. The next thing we did was we clicked on the folder and shared it. And in this case, we're going to make it public because all of the files we put in here are going to be in our website and we want anyone who comes here to be able to see these files. So I'm going to change it from private to public and save and done. Now I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to come over here to the upload button and pick files. You can do more than one file, but we're just going to do one right now. And it's this Box Cloud Storage PowerPoint. And we're going to pick Upload and Share and Convert Files and Start Upload. Now, when you're doing this, if you do not get the choice to convert your files, if it just stores it out there and puts it in um, a regular PowerPoint format and puts a little red P beside it, that's because you don't have your settings set up to do the conversion and that is right over here under settings. If we click on this little arrow and go to upload settings and you need to make sure you've got a check mark under convert uploaded files to Google Docs format and confirm settings. If you don't have that confirm settings it's not going to ask you. It's just going to automatically upload it into PowerPoint format and we really want it to be in Google Docs format. Okay, so I'm going to leave this in the interest of time and I'm going to go over to my sites. And when I get the sites, I'm going to just open an existing site. We actually created a site yesterday, but I'm going to open an existing site. Let's see if I can find just a, um, a sample one that's mouse is not working well. Here we go. There's my arrow keys. Alright. Alright, here's one that I said throw away later. Let's look at that one. And if you click in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see a plus to create a new page. So I'm going to click on the plus. Again, my mouse is not working, so here we go new page. I am on a slow wireless connection here and we named it Career PowerPoint and we just clicked on the create button and right after it's created you're in edit mode uh, you'll see the little pencil to edit the page if you're not on edit mode and wait a minute I'm still it's still loading the editor here we go it says save when you're in edit mode so I'm going to do insert presentation and then it's going to show you all of the presentations that you've got uploaded into your Google Drive it may be just the one or you maybe have some others but you want to make sure you look for the ones that have got the square icon. Don't use one with a P icon because that one, see that one has a P icon. That one would not work, but this one will work. So I'll click on that one 
and there's a blue select at the bottom of that page you may not see that on this recording and I typically uncheck the first two options and make it medium size but that's totally pre personal preference I usually center it and then save so now my PowerPoint is page is created and once the page refreshes you'll be able to see the PowerPoint but if you want to make sure it's in your navigation to add a link to it you're going to click on more and manage site and then you're going to click on site layout In this case, we have more than one navigation bar. We have a horizontal navigation bar and a sidebar. I'm going to put it on my very first sidebar. So you can have multiple navigations and sidebars. And I'll click Add Page. And it's going to show me all of my pages. And we should see, there it is, Career PowerPoint. Click OK. Now, it may have been added at the very bottom of the list of pages. There it is, after the blog. I can move it up if I want it to appear in front of the blog. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Save to save what I've done. And I'm going to click on the Return to Page over here, my, my page name. And now there's that Career PowerPoint link. And when I click on it, I'll scroll down a little bit this time. Um, we should be able to see that PowerPoint with a navigation tool at the bottom of it. There it is. Alright, we're all done.